Hey guys, welcome to Lingua Marina. Today we're gonna talk about very popular English words that are commonly mispronounced. Now, there are 1.8 billion people in the world speaking English and everyone is kind of adding something to the language and uh, starting to mispronounce words and then we hear somebody mispronounce a word and we do the same. And today I'm gonna talk about the words that are mispronounced. So if you're interested in speaking English as a native speaker without any mistakes, continue watching this video. The first word is GIF, and I would say GIF, but actually the guy who invented this thing, uh, this is kind of looped image that has this animation, he originally said GIF, G-I-F. Steve is using his own invention uh, to accept his award. So the right way to pronounce this word is GIF, not GIF. Salmon is the right way to pronounce the name of the fish. By the way, I love this fish, especially in sushi, especially grilled. And in America, the right way to say salmon is salmon. Have salmon. Salmon, uh, yeah. But if you're in Great Britain, you can say salmon. Timber and salmon. Uh, with an L. But in America, you just omit L and say salmon. Prerogative. This is the right way to pronounce this word. But there is a song called My Prerogative. Britney Spears sings it, Bobby Brown sings it, and uh, people started saying prerogative because my prerogative, because of the song. It's the way that I'm going to live. But actually the right way to pronounce this word is prerogative. This is my prerogative. The next two words are actually Italian, but people keep mispronouncing them. The first word is bruschetta, but I've heard a lot of people say bruschetta, which is not right. You can't say sh there because it's an Italian word and people say bruschetta. And the second word is espresso, and yes, you're tempted to say espresso because of express and stuff, but no, it is espresso, it is an Italian word, so please say it correctly. And by the way, guys, if there are some words from your language that came into English and that people keep mispronouncing, please comment down below which word it is and what's the right way to pronounce it. My comment would be babushka. I don't know why, but a lot of uh, English speakers say it this way when originally the word is babushka. This means the old lady. And uh, maybe it's just natural for English native speakers to stress the second part of the word, but it's originally babushka. Looking forward to reading your comments down below. By the way, guys, the only way to pronounce words correctly is to hear them every day. So your goal is to try to do something in English every single day to listen to people who pronounce words correctly in order to learn from them. And a great platform to do that is called Skillshare and I've partnered with them for this video because they have a lot of amazing classes that would help you not only uh, strengthen your language skills but also learn something new. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and productivity. And I really, really recommend a class by Greg McCoon. He's written an amazing book, Essentialism, and he also has his own class on Skillshare. I know when learning a language, you have to kind of manage so many tasks during the day, and this course should help you prioritize very important tasks like learning English and get rid of things that don't really affect the quality of your life. The link to try Skillshare will be below. The first 1,000 people who use my link to sign up will get two free months of Skillshare and you would be able to take the productivity class that I've recommended. And by the way, if you get an annual subscription, it's less than $10 a month and you get access to all of their amazing courses. The link will be below. The next word is pizza. And here you can pronounce it like pizza uh, with a stop, with kind of t, with air coming out of your mouth, pizza. Because some people say pizza, which is not right. You kind of have to stop in the middle of the word and say pizza. Pizza! 
The next word that is commonly mispronounced is Wednesday, and I hear a lot of people actually say Wednesday. And again, if we kind of follow the rules of how to read in English, Wednesday might sound logical, but unfortunately in English we don't really follow the logic for a lot of words and uh, we say Wednesday. Another word that kind of falls out of logic is, for example, you know this Greenwich, the part of London where time starts? Uh, so it's actually written green veg. You would kind of read it in this way, but the right way to say it is Greenwich. The same with an English town called Reading, uh, which is actually spelled like reading, but you just say Reading. So there are some things you just need to learn and remember, but the more you practice, the better you're going to be at this. The next word is genre. I know a lot of people say genre, which is, uh, again, kind of logical when you try to read the word, but because it's a foreign word, we say genre, genre. Outselling every genre? The next word is police. Now, there is a subtle difference, so watch me carefully. A lot of people say police, which is not right. It's police. Police. <laughs> kind of blowing a candle. Police. Police. Often. Now, here's the thing. You can say both often and often, but if you want to be really academic and follow the rules, T here should be silent, so it's often, not often. But if you say often, people are gonna understand you, and in a lot of countries, people just use often more frequently. But if I were you, I would just stick to often uh, with a silent T. Too often. The next word is stomach. A lot of people pronounce it as stomach, which is not right. It's stomach. Stomach. Try to pronounce it with me. Stomach. So it's gonna sta with an A, sta, and then mic with an E, stomach. My stomach is full. This is the right way to pronounce this word. Meme, we know there are a lot of memes on the internet, people making fun of each other, and uh, yes, you're tempted to read this word as meme <laughs> which is also funny, but no, it's meme with a long E, meme. The next word is niche, and I say niche, but really, it's better to say niche, and niche is more conservative, more academic, and this is the better way to pronounce a word that refers to a special role or place. Niche instead of niche. A little niche. The next word is a word that I've mispronounced for a long time. It's sugar. Now, follow me here, watch my mouth. It's not sugar. Because sugar, yes, you're tempted to read like that because the second letter is U, but it's actually sugar. You kind of just make this um, fake smile with your mouth and say sugar. That's the right way to pronounce this word, sugar. Sugar? Sure. The next word, oh my God, that's the most confusing word for, I think everyone really. I've heard a lot of Americans saying cocoa, when in reality it is cocoa. A in the end, we just don't read it. Coco, can I get some cocoa in my coffee, please? Can I get a cocoa flavored yogurt, please? You know, a lot of different examples. Cocoa. Can I have some cocoa later? Raspberry is another example of a word that has a silent letter. So P in raspberry is actually silent, so you can't say raspberry. You should say raspberry, raspberry. There is no P, it just goes away. The right way to pronounce bowl is bowl, not bowl. Some people say, can I have a bowl of rice? Uh, or can I have a bowl of soup? It's bowl of soup, bowl of rice. Bowl of milk. The next word is also really controversial. And uh, you know, I'm used to saying status all the time, but if you want to be kind of really, really conservative, the actual pronunciation is status. And again, you can continue saying status, but if it's the time when you decide how to pronounce the word status, it's kind of more academic. That was it from me for today, guys. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel if you like learning English and if you want to make English your lifestyle. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below about the words that came to English from your language and that we keep mispronouncing. Please comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you very soon in the next videos. Bye.